I'm Nikita and today I'm exploring the theme of quantum forgiveness. Right now I'm at Canvas at the Metaphysical Center. You, I can actually see it right behind me. This is the Living Miracles Metaphysical Center and what's happening here is quantum forgiveness is happening. There's lots of buzz around David Hoffmeister's new book, Quantum Forgiveness, Physics Me, Jesus. And uh, it, it appears to be that everyone is working on the launch of the book. And like I said, there's lots and lots and lots of buzz around it and everyone's buzzing with it and it's just like you can feel the vibe and it's like, uh, it's actually chilly. <laughs> I don't even know how to say, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It actually feels like something alive takes over you and you never know what it is. But it's actually really fun and ticklish sometimes. Um, but the thing is, today I want to explore more. What is it really? Like uh, quantum forgiveness, what is it really? And my main question is, is it more than just a book? Hmm. Is it more than just a book? So today I'm going to go and see behind the scenes of quantum forgiveness. Just what is happening behind the scenes of it. And who is doing it all. And, and what is it all about. And maybe I'll find my answer. Okay. I'm making a background for a website right now. A background what kind image. Of website? Uh, DavidHoffmeister.com. Okay. And it's for his quantum book launch. Your name? Andy. Andy. Yeah. It looks like it's to do with PR or sharing the message that we have a book called Quantum Forgiveness coming out. Uh, I was editing the mm. transcripts of his talks putting them into uh, sort of a narrative for a book, and it was thrilling and exciting. We join together and very often hear and see and feel the same ideas, and that's, that's wonderful. That, that's a real collaboration, and it feels beautiful. And yeah, it just it, if it doesn't speak to my heart, then I don't have anything to share. And that's, that's all it is right. for me. I have to receive it first and that's it extended. Then it looks like it goes on Facebook. Then it looks like it goes on YouTube. But really, if I haven't received it in my heart, I don't have anything to share. So that's my, that's my real function. Yeah, I think there was a feeling of letting go because How? when I first started the cover, I had an idea of what quantum felt like to me. Yeah. So yeah, I think just even like you know, when I was first thinking of how quantum felt to me like the idea of quantum there were old images that kind of came to mind and uh -huh. kind of like like the movie what the bleep do we know and and so when I was designing a cover I think I was working off some of those old images in my mind to start with but then it kind of felt like it was hitting a point and I couldn't go any further really yeah so <laughs> well, the quantum part is about uh realizing that time and space are not what I thought they were. I thought they were fixed and quantifiable, whereas they're actually subjective and in the mind. And uh, I got chills actually uh, editing some of those paragraphs and really getting the meaning out of it by editing it. I had to mm -hmm. understand it that uh, 
what I thought was uh, the room I was in and the people I was talking to were really just uh, figures representing thoughts in my mind and that they were subjective and uh, it gave me chills and a kind of a creepy experience but it's also thrilling because it means that I'm no longer at the effect of them. They're not causative agents outside my mind that can hurt me or attack me. Um, they're actually my own thoughts um, and so hence they're harmless and hence if I change my mind, my state of mind from like a, maybe it's a fearful projection and I'm seeing something that's threatening, uh, if I enter a peaceful uh, sort of state of mind in which I'm more in touch with who I really am as a spiritual being, then that's, that brings on a state of, and David does this so beautifully too with his words, as he talks, he just brings me into a state of spiritual calmness and peace. And from that perspective, I, I mean, I just see the whole world as uh, peaceful and happy. Hmm. So it's a very, very powerful book. So you got that experience just by editing the book? Yeah, yeah. I mean, really, sometimes we had to stop, and we both just go, whoa, you know? And, uh, wow. you know, I mean, we'd be laughing and crying doing it because, uh, I don't know, it's one thing, you know, like to watch the movie or something, but then to really uh, listen to his words and uh, clear out the butts and your nose and your comments from other people or whatever, and just get down to the real essence of it. Uh, oh, it's powerful. Very powerful. Mm. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Mm. That's so kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. It's one of the best things I've done in years, really. Really? I feel like it kind of had to like just be dropped for for a while. Like mm. I mean, kind of, and other projects were coming up at the time, so it just wasn't for me to focus my attention there at a point so then it, when it kind of faded and then I was working on other things and it just kind of came back up into awareness with a new energy and um, hmm. you know there were a couple you know just different views uh, were shared with me on, on what people were feeling for the cover and I just seemed to have but I more so I just felt like I had a new spark that kind of came in for it so I think the cover felt like it kind of did it made itself really yeah like even the image of Jesus that came came to How my mind. How did that happen? How did that come around? I was talking with Suzanne here, and um, I think we were just talking about the feel for the book, and um, yeah, just kind of getting deeper into what is it for, like you know. And what is it for? Um, just I think really that feeling of softness that is with forgiveness, and that I associate in my mind, just kind of more so than. Um, you know, like the, the science, mm -hmm. um, I, you know, the science feelings with quantum. It was more so about that softness that Jesus offers and kind of transcending the form. And so when we were talking about that, um, then, you know, well, yeah, Jesus was really coming to my mind because um, we were, even at the time, it was like, do we even have Jesus on the cover? But but then we were really kind of feeling like, yes, it is about the presence of Jesus. Like it is about... Um, you know, as a, as a symbol in the mind for um, you know one who's kind of transcended you know the form and, um, and that connection with, with God. So. Okay. All right. So now that I saw what I saw, now that I met who I met, now that I went on this really fun little trip through canvas behind the quantum forgiveness, it leaves me in a place of just really this um, deep, just kind of like leaves me in a place of wondering, could it be? That quantum forgiveness is really really much 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 more than just a book could it be that quantum forgiveness is an invitation into an experience
perhaps it is. Perhaps it is. <laughs>